Hey guys, Parfax here, and today we're going to be giving you another tip about the medley fair. All right, let's get started. All right, so we're here in the medley fair. We're at one of their, you know, whatever you want to call them. Their little hubs, the medley fair, fast travel points we can talk to the maestro but today's video is going to be on a topic that i well i shouldn't say i found it that a guild mate had sent it to the guild and i figured i'd bring it to you guys about a post on the forums now i will say that i haven't tested this out wholeheartedly so i can't tell you if this works but if you read down the forums posts it does seem that most people agree that this is correct now this is kind of on the luck thing so it's one of those things where RNG is RNG. So what do we really know? Um, and before I confuse you guys any longer, we're going to bring up the post here. So let me go ahead and grab it. So we'll bring it over here. And about hidden event fishing nerf less patch, but this is just a response. And it says none of the loot tables have changed since the release of the summer event. This is just saying that someone was like, oh, uh, they nerfed some of the fishing. And then it goes, there hasn't been any nerfs, buffs, or otherwise. The odds are exactly the same as they have been since the beginning of the PTR cycle. Large sturgeon have a 100% chance to yield 10 fillets, 2 to 3 scales, and a 25% chance to yield a fish bone. Now, I found that my RNG must be very bad because I'm getting significantly less than 25%, but we will go on. Mediums give five fillets, one scale, and a 10% chance to have a fish bone. And then small gives three fillets and about a 50% chance to yield a scale. The odds of catching fish at hot spots with regular bait in a regular rod are as follows. 30 catches, or sorry, 30 caches, 30% 30 small fish, 25% medium fish, 10% large fish. Now, the one thing that I do have to say about this is I don't know what perch you're using on your fishing rod. Um, uh, they are using fishing gear here, um, and they kind of talk about it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it really can depend on your, you know, your fishing pole as well. I mean, I'm not a master fisherman. Um, I'm just a master jabater. But, yeah, I'm not 100% sure here. And it says max luck with... Uh, which is the T5 event pull, plus the mandolin bug bait at a bait hotspot, changes those odds to this. 42% small fish, 35% medium fish, 21% large fish. Now, the one thing that I wish this would have been tested would have been a regular fish with the, the bug bait, because if the bug bait may just take out the caches in general, which would have been um, the just the straight increase here to all of these. So I'm not 100% sure. Maybe I'll go, you know, use some of my bait at hot spots. And uh, if they get rid, rid of the caches, then that's a huge bonus as well. And then we have the mandolin bait at a non hot spot. And there's those numbers. And then with the T5 pole, you see here they get less garbage and more of the medley stuff. Now, like I said, I don't know what pole they're using. It'd been great to have a little bit of context here. Um, cause I'm going to go over and now we're here at the event. And if you don't know what pull they're talking about, they are talking Welcome about Welcome all to the summer medley fair. this specific pull this right here. It has lucky day, lucky night, freshwater and saltwater colossus. Now I do personally have a lucky day, freshwater and, um, Colossus 3 and Freshwater Brawn 3 and Lucky Knight uh, 3. So this one's actually better in every category except for Saltwater, which I don't really fish. Um, but it has only Lucky Day 2 instead of Lucky Day 3. So I imagine that this is probably still going to be better. But that forum post is saying that uh, going ahead and grabbing this right here and i think what's probably happening here is just because it has the lucky and the colossus this you know really needs the bigger fish this really needs you know you want to get that higher chance to get some of those caches stuff like that so i imagine the bait helps with that 
So this is kind of a weird video because I'm just going off to a forum post. I haven't tested this a whole lot myself. Um, what I will do after this is I'm going to go out and fish. We're going to use some mandolin bugs and uh, we're going to see. All right, so I did a little bit of fishing here and this I did with the bait and my tier five normal pull here with the lucky day, freshwater Colossus, freshwater brawn and lucky night. And as you can see here, we have 10 small sturgeon. We have seven large or medium sturgeon and six large sturgeon and we did get three caches. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the medley fair event. We're gonna get the pull from it. I know my pull is technically better but we're going to go get it and then we are going to we're going to do about another round of fishing right around uh 26 ish fish now don't pay attention too much to the percentages because rng on this small of an amount uh you know can be very bad the fact that i got seven medium and six large kind of tells you that maybe the numbers were a little bit skewed here i ended up with like five or six smalls in a row to start it off and then i basically got mediums and larges the rest of the time we did use bait, but we're gonna go get the fishing pole from the vendor, the tier five one, and see if it, we can eliminate getting these medley fair caches. All right, I will be right back. All right, now we are back. Now I ended up catching a little bit more fish um, with this tier five fishing pole. And the reason for that is because we didn't get a cache. Um, now, like I said, I wouldn't take too much stock in the actual percentages here, but as you can see here, I did not get one cash. We actually got a big chunk of large, a big chunk of medium, and um, a, not that many small comparatively. We got less smalls than we did mediums and larges, which is what you really want. Now, I did this with no fishing gear. I did do this with bait on every single one. But this kind of shows you that, well, maybe this fishing pole is either bugged or I, I don't know exactly what's going on with it. But if you plan on maximizing your well, sturgeon, <laughs> you best get this fish's fall. Now, we can look in here and you can see um, our other ones. We got the Cadley Fair caches. We got three, six large, seven uh, medium and 10 sturgeon it looks like the percentages here are right around the same um, but we did not get any caches which are huge so to end this video we're going to go ahead and we're just going to open all these we went ahead and put all our focus gear on not that i know you know i don't really know if it helps but because you're not technically salvaging it i mean you kind of are you're just opening it but we're going to put it on anyway there's no need to not try it because you never know uh, so first, let's open up these three caches. So good. Got some cool stuff there. And some stuffing. All right, good. Let's go ahead and open up our 21 smalls. And honestly, we're just looking for as many skills as possible. We're getting one per, it looks like. It's exactly the same on every single one. So we're just going to go ahead and spam through them. Oh, I guess this is the mediums. These are all mediums. I actually, oh, we got a fish bone. Let's go. Another fish bone. Let's go. Those are what you're really looking for. Those are, the, those are your big money. All right, let's go ahead and open up. How many fish bones? We got two. Yep. Okay, let's open up the smalls. Three to one. Three, three to one. Yeah, so we're just gonna spam open these. We really don't care. We're just gonna get some some fish. The scales, which we're really looking for, but we really don't care that much about them. All right, let's go ahead and open up our 18 larges. Here we are specifically looking for the fish bones. Give me some fish bones. I have had horrible luck with these large ones, as you can see here. Are we gonna go all of them without getting one? Is that the question? Nope. Oh, there we go. We got one. Another one. Let's go. All right. Give me, give me another one. At least one more. There we go. Give me a fishbone. Last one. Fishbone. Ah. All right. Let's go. Ahead. Oh, we got a pattern on the first one. We kept going right through it. We got a large token. Another large token and a hat. All right. There you go. We uh. 
we test it out and it does seem that the new fishing pole from the vendor is just better than i mean this pole should be in theory other than the fact that it is a 512 versus a 580 should be better but it still was catching the caches which if you're looking for the fish bones like i am is a really you know not bad but uh, this one is just strictly better all right guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video go out there and get yourself a fish's fall uh, if you don't really want to and you want the caches that's fine too but i am specifically after these fish bones so i can get as many of these medley token premier tokens as possible um, if you didn't know where to change these sturgeon into you just go to the medley fair event and there is a big bonfire you go over there and you'll hit e and you'll turn these into these premium tokens all right guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you next time peace